Good morning, everyone. I'm going to try to make it through a haul video. Um, I didn't get a whole lot. I just wasn't up to it yesterday. Um, I went to the hairdresser and I sat there for like three and a, you know, several hours. And of course, I can't smell it right now as much, but there's all kinds of hair color. There's all kinds of fumes in there from other people. And I barely coughed. Um, I had two masks on and I had asked my hairdresser ahead of time. I said, you know, I've been pretty sick for five days. Are you sure you want me to come or should I cancel? And I've known her for years. And so she just didn't happen to have anybody else in there at the time getting their hair cut. And she said, no, you know, um, I'll wear a mask or whatever. And so I wore two myself. Um, the paper masks make me cough even when I'm totally well. I figured that out when I was a nurse. Um, so I wore a cloth mask and then the other mask on top. And I barely coughed with all those fumes and everything else. And then I went to the Goodwill to shop. And I just, I mean, I couldn't. I just could not quit coughing and I'm talking about the bend over kind of coughing so it was embarrassing I just wanted to get out of there but my son had met me there and he found some good things uh, that we're going to consign together so I wanted to do this haul um, I'll try to tell you what he spent but he has his own receipt so um, I, I didn't really think about that but um, anyway this is my receipt I spent $66.25 um, they charged me $7.50 for pajama sets, and that's something I didn't know. Now, thankfully, I think I can sustain, you know, the sale, uh, can sustain it, but I was at the checkout. I guess I thought I was going to pay 4 or 5 bucks, so $7.50 is pushing it, but this brand, I think it'll still be worth it. I don't think I would do it again, maybe. I'd just rather find that kind of stuff at the bins, but um, I'm glad to have this kind of uh you know, stuff in my store. I think it's still winter weather. A lot of people, um, I don't really wear flannel coming into spring and summer. I get too hot, but a lot of people do, you know, they have an air conditioner where they live. And so then at night they wear flannel. So, um, <coughs> so here we go, guys. I'll do my best to kind of go quickly just for the sake of my cough. I don't want to burden you with that. And so let's look here. And I didn't put anything to throw this into behind me. Um, this is La Sera pajamas, and at first I thought L.A. something, and, and then I realized that it's actually La Sera. These are PXL, so petite extra large. Um, probably petite's going to make it a little bit smaller seller. Um, if these were petite large, I might even keep them because I'm very short. Um, but yeah, they're, they just look like nobody even ever worn them. I mean, they don't have tags, so I'm going to sell them as used. But they're really nice flannel um, pajamas. And um, these easily go for way over 20, like I think even 30 used because I have two pair. And um, I might sell them in one group and try to get like 65 for two pair of flannel pajamas. I don't know, or I may sell them separate. But either way, I don't know if 750 was the best um, price, but I'm trying to save myself a trip to the bins. Um, I'm able to go to the bins. I think physically I could do it, but to be sick at the bins, um, it's not kind of like a normal thrift store where you're walking along and the same person only sees you once and hears you cough once. I mean, based on my experience at the Goodwill yesterday, I still felt like, I mean, like it was reverberating all over the whole the whole Goodwill, but let alone to be at the bins, the amount of like drinks I would have to haul in there right now to just stay hydrated to do it. And then, um, cause normally I go 12 hours. I do take a few drinks in my cooler, but I go 12 hours. I don't eat or drink a whole lot. I'll take some popcorn or something to snack on. And then, um, you know, I just stay there 12 hours and I, I go to the bathroom, wash my hands there, but I just feel like I would be living in that bathroom and, and Denver does pretty good, but by the middle of the day, they're out of toilet paper, you know, you got to take your own. And so I just feel like I would have to take like, you know, a wagon full of supplies to go to the bins right now with being sick. So my son and I have a trip planned next Wednesday. We're going to go to Denver for two or three days and share the hotel that helps us both. He'll do Amazon full-time the first day I'll go to the bins if I'm well enough and then we'll go together and thrift the second day and try to find you know just a bunch of stuff 
So anyway, um, the reason I kind of overpaid on a few things, um, I mean, I could easily find these at the bin. So, you know, that would have been like $250 as opposed to $750. But it is saving me about $400 on a trip going tomorrow or today or tomorrow I normally would have gone. And so it's extending out my cash flow that way and um, just giving me a few more days to get well. So um, all in all, this brand does have the ability to hold itself, though. And so $750 isn't horrible. I'll probably in the end make eight bucks on the on the set. Okay, this is a brand new Life is Good t-shirt. Again, just kind of basics. Um, I didn't know my son was going to have um, 25 consignment items to give me yesterday. Um, he had said he'd have a few, but he really worked hard. He knew I was coming and he knew I've been sick, so um, bless his heart, he tried to get me some work so I didn't have to source as much this week. Um, you know, normally I'd have sourcing stuff put up for a, a week like this so that if you are sick, if you can at least cut out the sourcing on a week you're sick, um, then when you're self-employed, you can kind of muddle through. But um, I, you know, early in the week, thankfully, before I got sick, I had sourced a decent amount at the bins. Otherwise, um, it would have been a hard few days. But um, then he gave me 25 items yesterday. So technically, I didn't have to source at all. Um, I can get through till Wednesday with my normal quota. And um, anyway, but I still bought some bread and butter stuff. I have, I'm going to try to get 50 items listed today. I do have a VA who helps me. Um, he goes to the spreadsheet my son does. And so I'll photo my son's stuff, take a picture of the number on the bag that my son puts them in. And, and then that corresponds to the spreadsheet. And then my VA just does the rest. Um, like I've said before, my son is full-time Amazon and he knows how you can lose your account in a second. So he's very particular looking up toys and stuff. And so I wouldn't do that with anybody else. I wouldn't trust them to kind of make up the description. And then I launch everything from my VA. My VA does not launch anything. Not that they're not good. They do make very few mistakes, honestly. But I do find a typo here and there. And then I find things that, you know, don't translate in photos. It's not really their fault. But, um, so, uh, I'm the end person. So if anything gets launched that shouldn't, it's, it's on me and it's my account. So that's just how I feel more safe. But anyway, um, that's a tangent there, you know, but, uh, yeah, life is good. This was $29.50 new, or I mean, you know, when you buy it new, it's just a basic mountain scene. It's real cute. Um, life is good turns really good. This is a size XL. I think I can get 20. I haven't looked up this particular print. I just thought, you know, it's a, it's a good size. I paid 375. Adult tops and bottoms are 375. So it's not bad. That is good. I found this. I had just heard, was it Dad Planet? I think I had just said something about Furbies are making a comeback and I sold a whole big lot of Furbies like a year ago for just next to nothing because I couldn't get anything for them. This is a Furby Connect, and it's pink, and I paid three bucks, and I looked it up, and I got to put some batteries in them. I'm not going to do it today because I've got so much else to work on. I'm not going to prep anything today. I'm just going to get through the listing and feel good if I get 50 items listed today, but um. Anyway, uh, he's in really clean condition, and um, the pink one on the Furby Connect, I think I can easily get 40 if he works. If he doesn't, I don't know what I'll do, but sell him anyway, I guess. <coughs> okay, here's the other set of La Serra pajamas. See, they're just in, like, excellent, almost unused condition. This is a, yeah, a Petite XL. So, and they're just really cute. Like, I would so wear these just to bed on a really, like, the cold we've had lately. I've been wearing, like, you know, sweatpants and and long-sleeved Adidas shirts to bed. You know, not looking very attractive, but um, but I would have so worn these the last few days. But, um, anyway, $7.50, a little steep. I don't know if I'd do that again, but it is a new brand to me. And so, look up La Serra Pajamas. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, so, in the future, I'll be picking these up. I know I didn't look close. I don't know if they make like summery stuff. So maybe that's just kind of a winter flannel thing. And maybe maybe it won't apply for the next few months. All right. These are BKE jeans. I do pick up a lot of BKE jeans. I like getting them at the bins, needless to say. I paid, let's see, adult tops and bottoms. I'm thinking that these are just $3.75. I'm looking for jeans here. 
No, yeah, 375. So Wyoming Goodwills are, I mean, there is some benefit to going there. If I absolutely didn't already travel to Denver, um, my dad lives on the other side of Denver. He lives two hours on the other side of Denver. So he lives six hours away from us. But, you know, now that my kids are older and I'm not, uh, you know, centered around where I live as much because, you know, I used to have to go to sports things and my daughter was on a swimming team. And so all my time was kind of centered here locally. But now that I don't have kids at home, we meet in Denver a lot and we do shopping trips. Um, my dad did just retire from Amazon, which is sad for me. It's like the passing of a thing, but um, this seems to have some kind of a staple or something in it. I don't know. Um, so I don't know how much he'll want to go shopping. It might be sad for him. He was really torn. He, you know, he's 75, but he was doing Amazon shipments. He was able to figure out Amazon's weird system, um, you know, and he didn't have any trouble. Now, he won't use a GPS in Denver because it's too hard, but that's a different story. Oh, by the way, today is my, today is my dad's birthday, so he might even be 76. I gotta look that up. Um, he might be 76 today. 1949, what is that? 1949, this is 22, maybe they're only 73, maybe they're not 75, I gotta look it up, anyway, um, so yeah, so we would meet in Denver, so I'm going to Denver anyway a lot, but, um, if I couldn't get to Denver, or if I had no reason to be in Denver a lot, then, it might be smarter time-wise and even financially to just do the best I could at the Wyoming Goodwills. So these are in really good condition. Um, there are 32 long, so I think I can eke out five extra bucks because there are 32 long. And uh, so I'm thinking 20, you know, $4 to 20 is um, about all, plus shipping is all I'm going to get on those. All right. Now this they considered a light jacket, and I've got to be more careful in there because light jackets, um, which they considered the pajamas, she told me, you know, we don't really have a pajamas button, but they're considered light jackets. <coughs> so those were $7.50, and then this L.L. Bean was also $7.50. <coughs> Sorry, guys, and I'm just not used to paying that, but it is vintage. And I look these up, and I think I can get about 25. Um, it's a size large regular, but it is women's. Um, people want these things, and I think I saw maybe a 30 or a $40 comp, but um, I'm not sure if that was men's or not. <coughs> Boy, guys, sorry. I just... I had committed in January to, you know, really starting to just film what I'm already doing, and, um, and then I got sick, so I could have just taken the whole week off, and that might have been the better thing. You guys are going to have weeks of my videos with me, like, coughing in them. Okay, now this is really interesting. Um, I mean, I look at Canadian things just because my husband's Canadian, so sometimes it's just something like a mug or something he might want, but this is called TP Brand. And it just says Canada. And these actually go for a halfway decent amount. So um, I'm looking and making sure that I'm not off on my prices. But they, it looks like, because I had six items that they charged me $3.75 for. So this should be, I mean, maybe I have one more thing that's a light jacket. Um, I don't know, because I had the two pajamas. And I'm trying to think what else they charged me. One of one of these jackets they must have charged me seven fifty four because I have four items that they charge me seven fifty four. That would be the two pajamas and then that LL Bean thing. Maybe one of the hoodies they would have charged me seven fifty four, but they don't normally. Normally they charge me um, three seventy five. So I'll have to look at that um, and just really be you know paying more attention when I'm checking out. But I mean I was doing my best. So, okay, so even if this was $7.50, I've got two of them. This is the red one, and the other one is white, and I know I didn't get charged $7.50 on it. And this one is new with tags. Maybe that's why she charged me more on this one. I don't know. They're both larges. I don't know yet if I'll put them together or not. Um, see, that's the thing. I have a lot of pairs of things today. 
And um, I know these were going for at least 20 something used. And so, and especially since this one is brand new, um, I'm not sure, you know, if I would do this again if I were paying more attention. But they, this one, even without the tags, whichever one doesn't have tags, they're both like new. And so I'm going to try for like 35 or 40 This is kind of a rarer brand. We'll see if I get it or not. I don't know. All right. This is a Crabble Sportswear Arizona Wildcats. Um, I didn't specifically look for the Arizona Wildcats one. It might go higher or lower based on the team. I don't really know my teams, but it's an XL. It is vintage. It's in fairly good condition. Maybe she, you know, maybe this was heavier. I don't think she would have considered this a light jacket. So probably $375, I'm assuming, that this is one of the six things that she charged me $375 for. I think I can get $25 or $30, depending on how rare the team is. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Now, I always love it when something gets past my son, because my son goes, and he got a book. I noticed that he didn't give that to me to consign. must be an Amazon book that I missed. Um, I looked at all the books. I didn't scan them all, but I look, and I've done books for 25 years, not saying that I can just look at a book and tell, but I definitely know certain genres of books are worth my time to scan, others aren't, and my son and I both looked at these, so we both agreed on that. I had looked at them at first, but then I knew they weren't a full set, so I left them behind. And then when he came, he immediately said, no, I think these are still worth doing. Um, anyway, on these underwear, he never saw these. And these are not all that old. These don't have a date. But it's something about the um, Camp Campbellsville Apparel Company. Now, the reason this stood out to me is, as you know, if you watched my shipping video this morning, I just sold a pair of DSCP pants that are sailor pants. And so these have to be some kind of underwear that you get, you know, if you're in the Navy or the Army or something. And um, so anyway, I picked these up. These should these were, let's see, underwear, three, let's see, 50 cents a piece. And I had three. Um, she asked me how many underwear were in there, and I said three. So she charged me $1.50 for this package because it wasn't marked at all. So anyway, I can easily get 20 plus shipping on those, and I'm going to do those today. I'm going to do my easy things. I admit it, guys. I'm not embarrassed about it. I'm going to do all the easy stuff I have today. Okay. These, I'm, I don't clean shoes. I'm not going to pick the rocks out. That's just me. Um, you know, it wouldn't take very long with a wire brush to sit there and pick those out. But I just show really good photos, and I'll put rocks in the tread. Um... I, I see a lot of shoe resellers on one of my groups, and, you know, they get a lot more money for their shoes, but they are cleaning shoes ad nauseum, I mean, just all day long, and it becomes a whole nother thing besides their listing that they have to do every day. You see them just... the prep and the cleaning of the shoes is like two to three hours a day and so I first of all try to pick up shoes that just don't need anything that I've gotten better at that but if I find a big pair of hiking boots like a red wing hiking boot and they're just caked with mud my goodwill will really price those down they don't clean them either but they'll put like you know 10 bucks on them because of the dirt on those I'll take them home you know and I will make a project out of it if I'm going to get 90 bucks but I don't I don't clean shoes I just can't fit it in. I'm trying to list, you know. So these are a 4E, which means wide and or extra wide, and they're a 10. They're a good size, and I think they're in very good condition except for the rocks in the tread. I've learned from, I think I maybe told you on another video, I've learned because my husband is a wide, and he just cannot wear shoes that aren't wide. If you go look at a nine and a half wide shoe on eBay, especially in tennis shoes, used I don't care if it's like a Walmart brand it's like starts at 50 bucks and so um, when I have a wide shoe I've learned from trying to order my husband even used shoes let alone new that um, I start them much higher because um, I you know I thought well I can get on eBay and order my husband used nine and a half wide shoes for 20 bucks and it just is not the case I just think they sell so fast that the comps just show people to charge higher so these are just a basic new balance um, 
you know, the number is there. I looked them up, and I think they were going for like 40 or 50, and I'm going to make sure, woohoo, I'm going to make sure that that is taking into account that these are 4E. So I might even charge 50 or 60. Um, but yeah, other than the other than the rocks in the bottom, they don't look very, very used at all. All right, I got a mess going on here, guys. Okay, this is one of my bottoms, 375 for the bottoms. So this is, <coughs> sorry guys, <coughs> Patagonia. This is why I can't go to the bins. Can you imagine that all day? I mean, people will be like, oh. And then when with a mask, it makes me cough more, even if I have the cloth mask. So I'd just be coughing all day. But anyway, women's medium, the say Capilene 3. So I don't know what that means. They might be worth more or less. They're, they are kind of joggers, taper, or base layer tapered. I got to look up the Capilene 3, but they were $3.75, and I, I just like to keep all the outdoor brands in my store. I'm trying to build a store of REI, Patagonia, Cool, um, Cabela's, um, Camo stuff. I find all that fairly cheaply here and in the bins in Colorado, and surprisingly, a lot of people don't pick all that up. I find North Face very cheap. I find Carhartt very cheap. So I've learned being on the group I'm on that you just go with what you have in your area and that you can get cheap and fast. And so um, my store here in Wyoming sees Patagonia all day long. So this was $3.75. They don't mark it up. Maybe a really nice Patagonia jacket with the tags they would put $20 on. But even $20 I would pay on a really nice Patagonia coat. Marmot they do not mark up. Um, right now for some reason they seem to have gotten information that Cabela's is worth it. So they'll put $8 on a Cabela's shirt. And so I'm having to get my Cabela's and stuff at the bins. But um, they miss a lot, too, and and uh, so Carhartt, they mark a tiny bit up, but nothing that you can't get a profit on. So anyway, that's that. And then this is my last clothing item that I got yesterday. These are Gymshark. I'm pretty sure this is my first time finding it. I don't know for sure. Um, this is the Gymshark Dry, and it's a size small. And I don't, I've just heard Gymshark can be good. I do not know, but I paid $3.75. I'm going to look them up today and see if the Gymshark Dry are, you know, or if I can find this style. I don't put a whole lot of time into research because I feel like I could list 10 more things in the same amount of time. But when I'm trying to learn a brand or trying to, you know, just make sure that I'm totally not missing a $40 sale, then I will do it. I don't know what I'll get on these, but at least 20 and maybe more. All right. Oh, I was going to say, I hope I got the second one. These um, are uh, just candle holders. I don't know how to do it. They have a pastel pattern in them. And they were a dollar a piece. And they say um, Holt Howard, 1958. Made in Japan. Now, the Christmas candle holders in this brand, oh my goodness, and maybe it's because it's just Christmas and that's why I'm seeing all those comps. But I mean, if these were Christmassy, especially if they had an elf on them, I mean, you're talking 80 bucks easily. And I knew Holt Howard could be something, but I don't know about these pastels, but I'm going to put Easter in the title. I mean, Easter's coming. And um, they seem to be in really, really good condition. So I'm going to try, unless I happen to find them and see that the comps aren't good. I saw one, and it was like a bid, and they didn't get that much. But I'm going to try for 80 bucks. I don't know if I'll get it. But for 2 bucks, I think I'll get at least 40 Um, So I was happy with that. I'm going to try to do those today. Those will just take like 5 minutes. Okay, let's do what my son got. I don't know the exact prices. I should have asked him. Um, these have 50 cents marked on them. He gave me these. He said they were worth it. These are not on the spreadsheet because he just gave them to me yesterday while we were shopping. So I got to add these to the spreadsheet. Um, PlayStation 4, Genesis, um, thumb grips, I guess. So anyway, these must be worth something. When we, when we split stuff for consignment, he knows that we've got to, you know, split it. So he tends to pick up somewhat decent stuff. 
This he said he looked and there were comps on there. Ours is in poorer condition. He said that for new ones, they went like 80 bucks. And so I think he said to try for 30 or 40 and we'll see if we get it. The inside is good. Um, but, you know, because of the damage there, I mean, comic book collector people are crazy. So, um, cause my brother is one, I can say that he, you know, I mean, condition is everything. So we might only end up with 20, but we're going to try. And then we have 20 of these. <coughs> the original set has 28 of the Alice in Bible Land. So if you ever see the 28, it's worth like 200 bucks very easily on eBay. There are only 20. We had 21, but there was a duplicate. So there are only 20. And um, when we first went up, we thought we were going to pay a dollar a book. So we were going to pay 20, try to get 75 or 80, split in half. We thought, you know, we'll each make 20. But when we got up there, books were buy one, get one free. So um, we paid 10 on this. So that made the deal really sweet. So I'm going to try to get these listed today. They should be like, you know, a few photos. And then I don't type out the names. I used to, when I was a full-time bookseller, I would type out every single name, but I'm just going to put a lot of 20, you know, Alice in Bible land. I still put things in like acceptable or good condition. I just always underestimate what I have and it, it makes it good. Like on this one, you know, this one here has some spine damage. So I'm going to put these as you know, a few in acceptable condition, most in good condition. And I'll glance through as I'm laying them out and make sure that there's no tears or writing. But my son usually does a pretty good job on that. So, uh, yeah, so I think this for me, my half will be at least $25 um, in profit, if not more like 40 So um, I'm excited about that. But, yeah, guys, I think that is all I got at the Goodwill yesterday. That was actually in less than two hours. It, um... I think I was only in there like a little over an hour and I was doing clothing and, and other stuff and I had my son just go do the carts and the hard goods. He's better at that and I love doing the hard goods and the carts, but I'm trying to stay focused on my clothing and get these outdoor brands in my um, store. Uh, I feel like there's only a couple more months. Um, the consignment stores are switching to spring and summer now. Um, I know in March with cruises, people go like crazy on cruises. I guess everybody has just a ton of money to go on a cruise. I don't know. Um, if you live in certain places, you don't even have to pay the airfare. Like if you live in Florida, you know, you can just drive and get on a cruise and it's really not that much of a, of a, a you know, expensive thing. For me, I'd have to pay all the airfare and all of that and then get there. So it gets to be more expensive. I was in a cruise in Norway once. I haven't been on a cruise um, for a long time. My mom wants to go on one. She's been on several to Alaska. So I'll, I'll maybe do one. It's not my very first choice. I like to travel and do other things, but I would go with her just to get, just to get out. So anyway, guys, that's my haul for today. I'm going to go, I'm going to, um, do a, uh, uh, low spend, no spend video. So if you've been following that, I'm going to go make one of those. I spent a lot yesterday, personally, got my hair done and I bought groceries and it was not cheap. So, um, yesterday was not a low spend day, but I've been saving up for everything and I did pay cash. So, all right, guys, we will see you. You have a great day. Bye-bye.